Good evening. Welcome to Options Center. It is Tuesday evening, um, 12, 27, 22. Thank you for joining us here at Options Center. If you're new here, go down to that bottom right-hand corner, hit that Options Center logo, and subscribe. And don't forget to like the videos. It helps us get those videos out to all sorts of traders, see if we can um, help out with what's coming up next. So that's what we're going to do. But we're going to add an additional analysis quick analysis on um a lot of these different players that I, I showed in the options guys uh it's down in the description it's a free discord check it out i put in a bunch of charts today so since i shared it with them i might as well go ahead and put that out in the public and uh here we go so yes on the monthly time frame we have a downtrend we're underneath the adma we're headed lower. We're still in this uh, balance of the month, last month, but creeping down. Not much else to look at. We're bearish. Going to the weekly. On this weekly time frame, once again, lower highs, lower lows. That um, 8 EMA, 20 simple is starting to reject right here at this. Um, this bow and arrow resistance slash support and that's really a key right now that we're looking at in yesterday's video it's a key we're pushing off of it we're rejecting from it and so i i am long and you say hey hey d why are you long right now this is your bears in every single chart except the 65 and i think um i'll show you then and it we're quickly gonna flip if um if we need to anyway i was just trying to get a quick bounce and we may not get that if we're as bearish as i think um we possibly might be then uh then we're gonna have to just we're we're, we're definitely gonna have to be cautiously extremely cautiously bullish um in the in the micro term so anyway we're pushing off down but you see we're actually triangulating from this uh 200 day moving average also the bottom of a channel but down from the downtrend so when we break out of one of these directions that is going to be a very very uh trending slash directional move a big move okay um it could go i i think we're going down but it can go both ways. We have to be ready for a one, two setup uh, for new all time highs or at least a lot higher. And then we have to be ready for what our scenario is much lower, which we think we're going to get in this 3,500 down to the 3,200 area. That's what we've been talking about for months now on the, but how did we get there? That's the, uh, that's the key. And that's what we, that's why we do the analysis so often. And so let's go down to the daily trend is our friend. We broke down from the channel and we're just really consolidating this area here. So that's the only hope for um, anybody that's a bull that we're consolidating and uh, switching paths to the upside. Um, you notice we came down here uh, down to this. It's a 50 percent retracement from the top from uh, this low back in november down uh up to the top here in december and we broke down right to that 50 percent. so we're holding that 50 percent. it's it's doing very well and so that's why we're we're kind of just a little bit bullish only bullish enough to get a bounce out of here before heading lower and you know when you break down from such a from such a big trend uh meaning this this channel that's when we think you know that could have been the back test it doesn't have to go all the way back up but we we thought we're trying to play just a, a quick bounce back a little bit higher and probably maybe to this 3950 big big area here um that we can uh poke our heads heads above and then head back down uh, like i said i'm not committed to that uh we we just really have to watch what's happening here we got somewhat of reversal candle inside day we're just in an inside week right now triangulating all right and going down to the 65 then we'll go check out 
um, a lot of popular stocks that uh, are always on my radar. And there's that channel that we're breaking down from. Uh, broke down, got a bounce for a possible wave four, and then finished off with a wave five to make a uh, uh, a lower low but with positive divergence and that kind of gave us a clue that we'd get another bounce but is that bounce over and that's that's the key i mean this could be a one two that that would be such a small wave two um it does fit the criteria not for the amount of retracement but um for the style you had an abc correction here and even if um you know there's different ways you could do this i don't want to confuse you too much but even if this is a one um, two, three, four, four back here, and then this is this could be a one, two, to com to to head down further, you know, for a fifth wave, but th that just doesn't look right to me. And also, if this is a uh, one, and then this is some sort of flat, perhaps, but this is a very sharp sharp move here so i consider this impulsive so i want to consider this a wave five but if this is an a b c some sort of flat or even a um a triangle going to the side here you you don't get triangles in wave twos so that's that's why that doesn't fit very well either but if you get some sort of flat a sideways consolidation and uh continue further then this one two can be complete and we go down further um but i have drawn this trend, this trend line here, not much or not much going on here. You just have uh, two touches, so it's it's not um, you know, something that's super legit. And I'm just kind of giving myself a point of reference. And we have an ABC up, and then we had a correction from this little move, from this little bounce down to the 50% into that 50 60 zone. And so that tells me that's a great spot to go along there for a, um, if that's a, a B wave to come correct. And now we have our impulsive wave uh, C to the upside. So even though this is holiday trade, this should be a pretty steady move to the upside uh, at this point, meaning tomorrow, um, to where we should start being able to consider this a C, a C wave headed to the upside. So this is today with the negativity and, and Tesla and NVIDIA big moves to the downside, we should have a one, two setup and we should start heading for wave three, four, five for however high, you know, the market wants to go. But um, that 3950 would be a good area that also coincides with that, um, with the eight EMA and the monthly. So it's kind of what we're looking at there. But if we continue to head down, then we we have to take our positions off and we have to uh, reassess and see what happens next. OK, so that's what I'm looking at. Not much has changed from yesterday on this chart. It, it But, you know, that big tech is, um, you know, really trying to hold us um, pull us to the downside. And so let's look at uh, some of these characters here and this is just going to be quickly on the 65 i could pull down let me see what i got going on the other screen i'm going to pull down a split screen here so we'll bounce back and forth and see if we can hopefully I wasn't planning on doing that, so yeah, sorry about that. We um, okay. So Apple, taking a look at Apple, we're on the sixty-five minute chart. This is what I posted. Um, we have a one, two, one, two, and possibly one, two, and then what we're looking for down here is a one, and then A, B, C to the upside for a two. But are we going to get that? I'm not so sure because once you start seeing the, the market move, you see how we got that nice wave two there or or possibly a wave four. I'm not sure. Um, we have it as a one, two. I took off some of the numbers there, but um, that's what we're kind of looking for here. And we're holding this big 130 area just kind of 
consolidating above it. And what we had here was a one, two, three, big wave three, four. And then if you notice, there's a one, two, three, four, five. So we got the five continuing here where it ends um, with a divergent low. It's a positive divergence. We have, uh, you see how the RSI started to go up at that point and um, the MACD as well. And then now we have the A, a lower low for a B, which is, is very common for a B to make a, a new low. Then we, then we start our corrective series to the upside. But we're really going to have to see if these big names do the same thing. If, this doesn't, if Apple doesn't rally and Tesla can be more of neutral instead of just crashing, then, um, you know, then we can have our, our correction on the S&P as well. But there's a real big drag. Um, maybe we can see something else real quick. I don't want to get too involved, but you see, you notice how we broke down from this triangle on the daily and we started to head down. That was a beautiful move we caught. You know, on the weekly, we have this um, we have this big, almost head and shoulders forming right here. We're at the bow and arrow, like we were just talking about. We're at this bow and arrow. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, consolidation area. And we have a big support that we're at right there at uh, the the 130 area and that's where we're having a little bit of trouble but if we start to break down from that 130 you know we can easily come down to this 113 also the 200 week moving average we can come down there pretty you know fairly quickly and i'm not going to go through all these but you notice how to all of the move all the MACDs that they're pointing down. I use this as an indicator for some of my spreads and um, in out spreads, things like that, where it's just kind of a, um, a, a set it and forget it type play for me. And all these are pointing down. So that's a great setup into any bounce that we get. I'm going to um, probably set up a one of those plays and Apple has so much it's just been going sideways so much room to the downside so this is super important I think that's the only one that I'm going to do on that uh, split screen but it, this one is so important so you see Apple starting to trend down like uh, Tesla and in, in the market it's not gonna be able to handle that all right zip through these Amazon Again, one, two, three, four, five, clear five wave move, A, B, and now we're looking at C correction. Meta, just counting this area here, possible wave three ending up here, and a triangle for four, so A, B, C, D, and E, possible finish to that, and then a one, two, three, four, and five for maybe a, he got a new high there. Which sounds bullish, but you know, at Facebook, honestly, Meta has been just annihilated. So on Google, we have a one, two, and then this one, two, three, four, five, and we're looking for a pullback for this one. So this is a one, two, one, two setup, but I'm looking for that wave two. Is it over here? It, just like all the rest, was this our correction right here? That little A move? It's it's just not likely to me that it's really small. Um, you know, so I think that's an A. And besides, it, it looks more like a three-way move. Even if it's impulsive, then this is probably a zigzag. So that would be for a wave two, that's very common. So five, three, five to the upside and then continuing down microsoft i think it's uh, the most obvious to me this is a real obvious chart one two three four five again a five wave move and then you have your a b and then um it, something else is going on here you know inside of here but we'll consider this an a the b move to side and then a Possible one, two, three, four, five. All of these we're pretty much looking for a five wave move for a C wave. But can you ask yourself, is this this correction right here? Is that it? Is that over for this large move? This is how we're gonna balance that large move out. 
and continue to the downside. And the only other way we can start doing this, since they're so much alike, you know, consider this for the rest of them as well, is if you have one, two, three, four, five, and we end the five wave move here, which that means that wave two was super big and you don't have hardly have a wave four going on, uh, which is possible, but, you know, and then we have some sort of maybe running flat, A, B, C, and then we can continue lower. And again, that's, it's just, I don't, I don't see that. Tesla. All right, NVIDIA first, or Tesla. Let's bounce them back and forth here. All right, so again, this is a move here to where we have one, two, and then we thought wave three, since we had a, a possible wave four here, and then we're looking for a five wave one, two, three, and it looked like we might have been finished, but it looks like this was a four triangle, and we have a fifth. And, uh, you know, to me that this fifth wave could be over here, uh, but we're looking for 112. We had a little bit of support there. So if we start breaking back over 112, then we can consider uh, adding on to longs for a bounce into, and we'll have to adjust this, but into about the 130 uh, bounce area at minimum for a wave four. And uh, that's what all we were looking at was a bounce for Tesla. And uh, it's a wave four, so some sort of flat or triangle that will waste a little bit of time. Now that it's made its big move, we have to rebalance it, and it'll probably balance it in time rather than uh, actual uh, length of uh, uh, price action. To the upside, it will be limited, and we'll move sideways. And Nvidia, again, this just this one. Um, it just started to look. Pretty, pretty clear that this was not really a one, two, one, two sort of action, but it looked like this was a five wave move here for one, two, zigzag, three to four triangle, and then five down here. Now, if we, an easy invalidation for this one, uh, wave three cannot be the shortest. It's clear that wave one is longer than this wave three. So if we do the extent of this wave, from top to bottom, and then from the top of wave five, it can't go past our 100%, which is not even on the screen yet. So we'll just we'll just leave that there. Could be just a little bit lower, but that's about 137 would invalidate this and uh, and say, hey, you know, this this fifth wave is actually longer than three. That makes it shortest. So that would have to be counted differently. But at this point, looks like we're just getting shorter in each wave um, for one, two, three, four, and five. And that's also going into a little bit of um, uh, support there as well. And then square. I had most of these Elliott waves up, so just leave it there. And square was a little bit different. The ending was over here. We had it a little bit higher in that same area, but we think this is a one, two, and then three, four, five. And then we had a three wave move up to three for A, and then a three wave move down for B. And now we're looking for an impulsive one, two, three, four, five, back to a retracement to the upside. And it's just looking really good. That count looks really good there. So we're very confident. We have a pretty large position in that bounce there, but uh, we'll see what happens if we um, have to make some arrangements on there to get out of our plays. Netflix. Netflix again, this is a short-term board. We have one, two, three, four. And this, this looks really weird here. We had a gap down, so I can't really count too much going on in there, but we're, we're assuming, we're making the assumption that this is a five because this would, if this was a move here, one, two, three, then uh, we can't really end it there as a impulsive move. So that would be four and five. And then we have a three wave move up for an A, three wave move down for a B, and we're looking for impulsive move up for a wave C. So really similar in all these, and um, you know, it 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 feels very sluggish and and fearful in the market because you're looking at at, at Tesla 
in the video, but everything else is just kind of, you know, Amazon had a two and a half percent move down, but not huge moves from the rest of the, the clan there. And um, so, yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, we had some signs of, let's say, gold. Gold was to the upside. Bitcoin, things like that that are holding in also kind of says, hey, the market is holding in just a little bit as well. And uh, with the with the rates being so high, pumping to the upside, if rates continue to the upside, then, um, you know, that's going to be very, very bad for for tech. But if we get a little bit of pullback here, we can get some relief, have that bounce and then see what happens from there. But, you know, um, uh, Mott Capital, I follow. Uh, him on there on YouTube as well and he, he does fundamentals very well I don't do that on, on ours but we're looking at um, possibility that uh, that economic data starts rolling over and that's just going to be that's going to be quite the opposite for rates going down headed to the downside and so we have to watch be careful if something like that happens then uh financial companies um are not going to hold in very well it's going to be opposite instead of tech but tech's already being ruined so then you have your financial companies that can start pulling the market down as well so that's that's about it you guys i'm not gonna go too much no nope, that's it we're gonna end it from there um i appreciate everybody being here and all the super support we've gotten many many more views um, we're, we're growing. This channel is doing very well and we appreciate you. So check us out in the options guy and uh, the rest of the week I'll be putting out videos and having a good time with this and let's make some money and, and have a happy holidays up into the new year. Okay. And then after that, we'll do, uh, we'll keep going. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here. Options ever have a wonderful night.